example, friends. Well, most content on the internet is about how to work properly or be more productive. There's actually very little uh, content about how to stop working properly. And that is a topic that is very dear to me right now because I think I've missed out on that one. I think by being an entrepreneur and uh, being a freelancer, the, the lines between uh, my personal life and work have blurred way more often than they should be. And the potentials for burn, burnout, for stress, for yeah, overall less joy in life and uh, less fun, less less relationships and all that. Um, I think they're they're they've all been impacted really, and that's why I have created this daily shutdown checklist, which is inspired by Cal Newport, and um, that is helping me quite a bit, like so much you wouldn't believe it. So I'm happy to share it with you. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. So this is the checklist. It may look a bit long, but don't worry about it. Um, we'll go through the three different phases and uh, yeah, it's workflowy. So we have different versions on how to do all this. Um, I think the best way is to do a live. So let's go to the today bullet. And um, this is what I had planned today. It's a Sunday, so no client work, but nevertheless, there's stuff I wanted to get done. Um, first things first, the daily ritual checklist you use at the end of the workday. So I'd say either if you work through it chron chron chronologically, you put it wherever you want, uh, wherever it makes sense. But um, I'm going to do checklist and then daily shutdown. We're going to pull that one in here. We're going to detach it as always. And there we go. So um, if we sum it up, it's four steps really, but I've extended them. And you of course can adjust them to whatever you feel makes sense to your your day really. So it's about finishing everything that is um, due to today or that um, can be done until you've reached the time where you simply finish working. It's about the preparation for tomorrow. It's about cleaning things up, not just the desk, but more like the desktop as well. And then having the ritual or the routine to say shut down and allowing yourself to continue with the rest of your day and not only allowing yourself, but also um, keeping yourself from thinking or uh, thinking about work or working really. Okay, now that we have um, embedded the daily shutdown checklist, we can simply continue to work through them. So I'm going to change this to a board real quick. So we don't have enough. So we don't have that many issues with um, browsing through um, horizontally, right? So yeah, let's say um, write down projects, next steps. Let's say, for example, like everything in here has been done. Um, and then there may be like one project left that you couldn't finish. For example, this video I'm going to finish in a bit, but let's say this one has been done, but maybe there was a decision that I haven't done. So this one, I'm simply going to move to another day. Um, likely, um, not tomorrow because Monday is an important day. So let's say Thursday, maybe, which would I think be the 20th of March. Yes, I got it right. Nope. Uh, yeah, you see, there's the problem with the 20. That's, um, that's how it is. It was the 21st anyways. So we move the task to where it belongs. So pretty much that means in step one, whatever is unfinished, move it to where it reappears because of your um, calendar approaching. But also sometimes you just like want to finish certain things. So that's that's what it is. Outstanding tasks, requests, and questions. I would also go to my email, look if there's any important uh, um, emails that I've received that still need a response, and then I tick off that one. Save all the files and URLs where they belong. I'm not sharing my full screen right now, but I would simply um, save all the tabs I still have opened because um, those might be project dependent. So I don't want to scatter my brain tomorrow morning with something that might not be relevant for the project I'm working on tomorrow. So I'm going to save the tabs to the project that um, they, yeah, that they're connected to. 
and maybe files in different Asana projects or whatever you have there. Then of course, final look at to-do list and email. This means that I'm gonna go to my client uh, project lists or my other personal project lists and look if there's something that might be coming up in the next couple of days. So is there like a major thing approaching that I just want to look at really, just a final look to just have it in my processing memory uh, for once at least. And then maybe skim through existing list, which was um, exactly the client project I mentioned already to um, simply not forget any big thing, no deadlines or no appointments really. So this is the finishing element, the third phase one where I say, okay, I'm going to finish today's work and I have like a vague idea about um, the next couple of days. So the next step then after we've finished really is the reflect and plan phase, which means that um, I'm going to reflect on the achievements. What have I done? What have I achieved really? What does that mean? I could simply... Um, um, think about it and let it digest but like creating this video is something that is important to me but in because in a way creating the videos is not to gather like youtube followers or something like this it is to share my knowledge and something that is important to me as an entrepreneur but it is just as well a testament to my work ethics and the new structures or strategies that i implement and I truly believe in the concept of um, learning by teaching and making or by making the video, I make sure that I have understood everything correctly and that I um, implement it the way I intend to. That it simply makes sense and is coherent, really. So, um, yes, reflect on the achievements, which again is about the learning phase where I can... Um, well, in a way, this one... Um, I don't usually do because um, as you might have seen in the other video I've created, I do that the next morning, but I still uh, wanted to have it in here. Um, for example, for, um, yeah, for others that might not have a morning uh, or a daily journal routine like I have. So for example, here I already wrote in the daily journal for yesterday and I'm going to do that tomorrow again and I'm going to link the video somewhere here in the screen. Um, otherwise, I'd highly recommend to reflect on the achievements. And one thing I do, though, is uh, because I am someone who is a freelancer, I sometimes gather the achievements and let my clients know just so they know, OK, they've, he've he has accomplished something. There's some form of value that I have created today. So uh, this is just as important for me as it is for my clients. Then the next step would be to prioritize and sketch out the next day. Um, simply looking at the day, uh, days coming ahead and having a, a vague idea. Um, yeah, also, also important. So you, there's no like, um, surprises waiting for you when you start the day tomorrow, simply having a look at the next day. Um, I still got to do my, um, planning. I haven't done that properly. So using the, oh, that was the wrong one using the short codes. There's, uh, yeah, there isn't much for Monday, so I still got to plan my week ahead. I actually have to finish that one. If you, <laughs> funny, I'm creating a video on a daily shutdown, but I'm not really um, doing the shutdown, okay? That's okay. I think that's okay. I'm not doing the shutdown. I still have to do something, but I usually do the shutdown that way. So means um, plan out next week is something I still have to do. And I have a, I have a weekly planning checklist, just as this one. So let me know if you uh, if you want to have a look at it. I'm happy to share that one as well. It's a bit extensive, um, but if I do it properly, it helps me so much because planning is not my strength. So I need those checklists, and that's why I use Workflowy really. So yeah, prioritize and sketch out the next day. I usually have done that already um, for the week, but nevertheless, important to look at. And what did I learn today is also part of my um, daily journaling element. So that's why you see it in brackets as well, but I highly recommend it to look at the things, um, to look at your tasks that you've accomplished. By the way, of course, this doesn't have to be in workflow. You can apply this into 
notion obsidian whatever to doist whatever form of or tool for to do you use you simply apply the checklist it's not like workflowy bound obviously but um recommend it let's put it that way and uh yeah what did i learn today um reflect on those and uh, then we finish up with the last one, and I'm going to talk about the psychological element of all this at the end. So uh, close all tabs and windows, exactly. Um, tidying up, this is the third phase, so we're done with everything. We've finished everything for today. We have had the look at uh, tomorrow as well. So now it's about getting things ready, almost like resetting the room or resetting the workspace, closing all the tabs so you can start fresh. Theoretically, you could all already even open the tabs that are relevant for tomorrow. That would be like a next step. Um, I might actually um, open tabs for tomorrow um, or whatever other resources you might need. Um, Mise en place, the French version of getting all the resources ready. And um, then tidying up the desk, make sure everything looks properly so you can start with a good ritual tomorrow. Um, set an evening attention, which pretty much means what's what's going to happen after this, after I've done my work. And that is beautiful because you feel into yourself and um, yeah, also get a feeling of um, of happiness of what's to come, right? Vorfreude, we say in German. Um, I don't even know what it's called in English. Pre-joy. <laughs> I love it. Pre-joy. You get pre-joy by thinking about what's going to happen next this evening. And um, yeah, and then you end it with something where I appreciate Cal Newport for that um, idea. You say, like you actually say shut down, right? And I've um, um, like added a small sentence to it, a phrase that I say out loud that says, I've accomplished all I could do today. I allow myself to enjoy the rest of the day without guilt. Tomorrow is a new day. And by saying that out loud, I, I feel, and when I, when I say it, I also have to mean it. It means like, okay, I mean that this is it. I'm ending the work day. And that's a mistake I've made for so, so long. I continued like roaming around in my head about what else is there to do for my clients. And I didn't even realize how much that affected my private life and my my mindfulness about the moment with my friends with my family with my partner and um yeah it's 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 crazy if you you don't even realize how much being a freelancer affects your leisure life as well if you do not if you do not apply the shutdown routine or ritual that's why it's become so important to me and um one last advice um, after saying it, one last advice is to um, when you think about work, because of course at the beginning it still happens. Like the the shutdown ritual isn't like ma hasn't manifested into your life from day one, but it will impact day one, of course. But for the next days, um, there will be less and less. And but when you think about work, try to cancel that thought or write down the idea somewhere but do not entertain it for too long. Say like, I've done the shutdown, it's done. And I, as I said, I've allowed myself to finish the day. So that's it. And if you apply that consistently, and if I apply that consistently, and I'm still, I'm still on my way, this is quite a new concept, but um, I already feel how much it impacts my life. So I'm gonna reset everything now, finish my weekly planning, and then I'm gonna do the shutdown ritual. So. This is it. I hope it helps you just as much. Uh, it really helps one um, divide private life and work life way better. So yeah, that's it for today. See you soon.